Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to learn how to send an email out through SMTP server port 587. If you don't know what I mean, please watch the previous video which talks about this server port and the reason why this video was created. Now this script that you see on the screen is from here. And this script allows you to send emails out from email service providers such as Outlook, which requires you to put in the value of 587 for the server port. So I just ran the script, put in the password, and hopefully that should have sent the email out to my Gmail account that you see here, which is the second tab that I have open. And if I refresh, hopefully I'll get that. I'm not getting that. Why am I not getting that? Maybe it's in the spam email. There we go. It's it's in the spam email there. So let me explain to you to the best of my abilities. And I say that because this script is super complicated and I have to admit that I do not fully understand or would be able to recreate something like this at this stage. I haven't studied it in detail. So I am not on top of it, although I do get a brief sense of what's happening. So I'll explain to you as much as I know. So what this script basically does is it's going to use a library called CLR to compile a script written in C sharp that utilizes system.net.mail, which supports port number 587 to send an email out. So once the compilation is complete, it will run the compiled file and then send the email out. So uh, the first thing it does is the input box, which asks you to put in the password. And then here we have this function called load C sharp, uh, the return value of which is going to be assigned to C sharp. Load C sharp function is down here. and in this function, we are assigning what's inside the parenthesis here into the C sharp variable. And what goes into the parenthesis is a few lines of code, several lines of codes that creates the C sharp code that is going to be compiled using the CLR library later on. So as you can see in the C sharp code here, we are using system dot system.net.mail class to send the email out and this thing you're able to find more information on the system.net.mail from this URL here okay and so this is all setting up of the you know sender uh, recipient and etc encoding etc etc you've got the port number and then the secure socket layer and etc etc and then credentials and then once the script has been loaded, the script is going to run this method. Um, and this method comes from the CLR library down here, which is written by Lexicos himself. This is an actually very old library, not so much very old, but it's written in 2014. So it's been a little while. And um, I only just came across this recently, so I haven't looked at it in detail. But what this library basically does is it compiles scripts written in other languages like C Sharp or VB so that AutoArchy run those scripts as well. Now the download link from that uh, AutoArchy forum post that you saw just now is unfortunately broken, but somebody else has kindly up uploaded an updated version up here so you can get that from this link here or you can get the entire thing from my website as well and so using this library we are converting this c sharp lines of codes or compiling it and then running it so this appears to be the line that does the compilation because failing which this is going to uh, give us an error message that says it could not be compiled and then CLR create object. I'm assuming this is going to create an object called iMail, uh, which is the tool that we're going to send the email through. And then here we're going to provide the values that go into the parameters. I think the parameters are the same as these ones. So these ones are going to go into this script and then run it and then finally wrap up the process at the end. That is it for today's video. I do apologize for not being able to elaborate so much on this topic, but if I ever get to 
uh, studying the CLR library more in detail and I find it useful, then I'll consider creating and uploading videos on this topic as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.